Hey guys, Sear Shots here with Lester's Locations and welcome back to our first video in a long time. I'd love to introduce my new video producer, Brian. Thank you for the continuous support and for being patient with us. These videos take a long time and they are a lot of work. So we are going to try to stay as consistent as we can. I had some issues with my schedule and I decided to go back to school so it was too hard to make videos, but I'm back. I'm excited to be here and let us know what you think about our first episode back. This home is perched on the northern slope of the Palos Verdes Peninsula, facing the shimmering Pacific Ocean and lights of Malibu and beyond. Imagine a life in sleek, modern luxury. This home is impeccably crafted with spaces both grand and intimate, and is beautifully landscaped and privately situated on a quiet little cul-de-sac minutes from town. A fun fact about the Palos Verdes Peninsula is that many movies have been filmed on or near the cliffs. Some movies include Inception, Dunkirk, and Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. This property has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, has over 5,500 square feet of living space, and is on a lot that is over 17,000 square feet. This property is listed at 8,599,000. Hello everyone, my name is Sierra Schatz and welcome to our channel, Lester's Locations. Today we are in Palos Verdes Estates and we are very excited to show you this tour. But first and foremost, we would love to thank the listing agent, Tanya Peterson at Sotheby's International Realty for allowing us to tour her beautiful listing. So let's go check it out. <music> I noticed about this Spanish home is how magnificent it looked perched upon its lot. You can see part of the backyard and the pool area and the entire front of the house. You have a clay tile roof and a very large front glass window. To my right you have a grassy area for any children or pets and you have some roses right here for some landscaping and some lavender down by your palm. You have a three car garage with western cedar doors, black contemporary sconces, and your facade is of stone and a smooth stucco finish. So let's head inside through your 14 foot expansive front glass door. And here we are in your main foyer area. In this space, your door and your glass front from the bottom to the top is 14 feet. We are on European oak floors. You have your European oak staircase with glass railing. To my right, here's a space you can maybe add some plants or display your artwork. And this house is built by Peninsula Homes Group, and I will say that the photos online do not do it justice. You have to kind of be here to really get the flow and the feeling of it and how bright it is. So hopefully this home tour will give you a little bit of an idea of what it is really like. You have 20 to 22 foot ceilings with recessed lighting and an opulent Hammerton chandelier, crystal and gold. And I wanna point out, I like this staging piece right here, how they decided to put a circular table instead of having it just be kind of a plain space. So let's head into the dining and hangout area. And here is what can be a second bar area. You have some glass and wood shelving. Maybe it can act as your library, but you have this beautiful, classy, multicolored porcelain countertop. And you have gold hardware. I will say that I like this shade of gold because I don't know if, um, let me know in the comments, but if some of you can notice different shades of golds, I know that some can look a little bit maybe tacky, but I think these look very classy. And you have the same Rift Oak custom cabinetry, and here's your main bar area. 
some shelving storage, same hardware. And these are two refrigerator drawers. So you have two of those. I also like how, I'm not going to say that they're seamless, but they match. You don't just have a silver, a stainless steel beverage fridge here or refrigerator drawer. And here's your beverage fridge, black interior. And I love this three-dimensional tile backsplash. It might be a little bit hard to see in the video, but this is the only space that they use that tile backsplash in. It's pretty unique. I'd say it's one of my favorites I've seen. And we are going to come from your bar into one of your seating lounge areas. And maybe you can hang out here, read a book, enjoy some wine, quiet time, and take in the view of the ocean and your front yard. This window is nearly wall to wall, and it really lets in ample amounts of sunlight. You have an 18 foot vaulted ceiling with recessed lighting and cove lighting. And you have another crystal and gold chandelier made by Hammerton. So this will be your main dining area. And as you can see, you have an exterior dining area. And we will head into the main living area after I show you these sliding glass Western doors. And this house has 40 feet of sliding glass doors. As I mentioned earlier, there's ample amount of sunlight, so great for plans. And if you're somebody who loves entertaining or just enjoying the ocean breeze, this house is perfect for you. So let's head over to the main lounge area. And here we are in your main hangout family lounge area. You have this beautiful floor to ceiling travertine gas fireplace with brick interior. Mount your TV here and you have windows over here with a view of the ocean in your backyard. You have the same 18 foot vaulted ceiling with wood beams. And this is an open floor plan. So this seamlessly falls into your kitchen. And here we are in your sleek kitchen. You have this beautiful bright porcelain countertop, two pendant lights, stool seating. And you have this white rift oak custom cabinetry with the gold handles. You also have another neutral tone cabinetry over here with white subway tile backsplash and floating, uh, floating shelves. And you have two stainless steel sinks. And I like these unique sink levers. You still have a very wide, beautiful view of the ocean and your backyard. And you have two refrigerator drawers. Great for entertaining. Pop the charcuterie out, place it on your island. This kitchen is equipped with an array of upscale appliances. You have a Wolf stainless steel microwave drawer here that matches your Wolf range. Six burner stove and a grill, and you have the same porcelain tile backsplash. And I like this wood detail they added to match your custom cabinets. We will come over to your Sub-Zero fridge and freezer on the way to your butler's pantry. And I like how they made this a little bit more inconspicuous. They match it to the same custom cabinets and they have these same handles. And here you have your Wolf coffee maker. And tell me in the comments if you are more of a coffee or tea person. Personally, I'm more of a coffee person, but I started drinking Celsius drinks and this is not sponsored by Celsius. However, I wish it were. So if you're Celsius, please hit us up. <laughs> here you have another inconspicuous appliance, your dishwasher. You have the same countertops, porcelain countertops, subway tile backsplash, and you have a stovetop here, Wolf Appliance, four burner stove, and here is an exit to your courtyard, which we will get to in a second. You have more cabinetry here, and I like this little design. They added the little woven design up here just to add some more detail to not make it so plain. And lastly, we have a Wolf steam convection oven. And I have not used one of these, but what it does is it uses steam to cook and it's supposed to keep more nutrients in your food. So that is the butler's pantry. Let's head through the main living area into your outdoor courtyard. And on the way to the courtyard, we're going to pass through your hallway. On my left, you have an area here to display your artwork. You have two chic sconces that match chandeliers in the house. You have a floating wood storage space. You have recessed lighting, the same European oak floors, and here we are through your bifold sliding glass doors in your courtyard. You're on limestone tile. You have contemporary sconces, and I want to point out the color of this downspout. I like the copper color. This is just a thoughtful design touch. And this is an area if you want to hang out, still be a part of the party, but you don't want to be as loud as wild. You have the stone gas fireplace with a matching wood mantle. 
And up here to my right, you have your side yard with some shrubbery, some privacy. There are no neighbors there, so they can't look down into your yard. And from here, we will head to a little bit more of a secluded area. So this is where you hang out if you don't want to be a part of the party and maybe you want a little bit more privacy or to enjoy some cigars. You have some landscaping to my right and a tree to add some shade. And from here, we will come back inside to your bedrooms. And heading over to your bedrooms, we're going to pass by this door here, which is actually an elevator that I'll be taking later. And heading over here, we have your powder room and your laundry room. And I like this laundry room because it's a, it has a bright feeling. I feel a lot of laundry rooms feel kind of cramped and dark, but you have this light blue and white tile design on the floor, your white cabinets. You have brushed nickel hardware, and you have this grayish blue, white, traditional herringbone design. You have porcelain sink, quartz countertops, recessed lighting, and an area where you can fold your clothing. We will head over into your powder room. And in this powder room, you have a similar wallpaper that is in the rest of the house. However, it looks like this has a little bit more shimmer, so it brightens up the room. You have a floating rift oak vanity with porcelain countertops. They do look like marble, very beautiful. You have a custom made mirror for this space and you have two sconces that match your foyer chandelier. And I like how the sconces, they project somewhat of a crystal look and it kind of just adds something a little bit special to this powder room. You also have the classy black and gold hardware. Matches your faucet and we'll come into the hallway. And heading back into the hallway, I want to point out that this is a nice fresh canvas space where you can display some artwork. And over here to my right, we will head into your first bedroom. And here we are in your first bedroom that is staged as a children's bedroom. You have recessed lighting, linear air conditioning vent, the same European oak floors. You have this built-in storage space with polished nickel hardware and a custom walk-in closet with recessed lighting. And in this bedroom, you have your own private balcony. Here we are in your private balcony. You have a limestone tile on the floor, wrought iron railing that match your contemporary sconces, an exquisite ocean view, and you have your stone facade and your smooth plaster finish. So let's head back inside to your other bedroom through your Jack and Jill bathroom. And in your Jack and Jill bathroom, you have dual sinks, quartz countertops, you have two floating mirrors, three contemporary sconces that match your Newport Coast faucets. You have gray cabinetry with the brushed nickel hardware and a space for towels below. On the floor, you have a herringbone light blue, gray, white towel design. And over here in your shower, you have the same floor towel design with a seamless square drain. And you also have a glossy subway tile finish on the walls. And from here in the bathroom, we will head into your next bedroom. And in this bright bedroom, you have a view of the ocean and the neighborhood through your very large glass window. You have a custom walk-in closet. And I want to point out these beautiful eight foot mahogany doors throughout the house. I also love how they added or kept the wood trim detail. So from here, let's head to your guest suite. And here we are in the guest suite. You have this fantastic seating area here, a space to maybe mount some artwork. I will point out Brian, my videographer, uh, tell me in the comments if something like this bothers you, this little extra space right here. It doesn't really bother me, but let me know what you guys think. Here is a view of that private patio we visited earlier, and you have a floor to ceiling travertine gas fireplace. Mount your TV right here the same European oak floors. Over to my right, we have a custom walk-in closet. And right here, we have the main sleeping area of your bedroom. Your travertine fireplace wraps all the way around. Mount your other TV there. You have another view of your patio. And I absolutely love the bathroom of this guest suite. And in this bathroom, you have a light gray vanity with a quartz countertop a floating mirror that is on your porcelain wall finish. And I want to point out the height of this ceiling. This is a 14 foot ceiling and it is slightly bigger than the main guest area. You have two beautiful sconces and in your glass shower, you have a floating tub with a floor mounted faucet and a view of the ocean in your neighborhood. And you have a regular and handheld shower head 
and on the floor you have a beautiful square porcelain tile design. So we'll head out of the bathroom and into the downstairs game area. And we are going to come down your European oak stairs with your oak wood and glass railing. And I do want to point out, I love how they utilize glass railing in this house. It really kept the openness continuous. You do have some spill from the natural light above down into this floor. And this is the entry, the entry floor if you were to park in your garage. So it's not necessarily your mud room, but it can act as maybe a game room or your music room or possibly another office kids hangout room. You can mount any artwork, display it, maybe mount your TV right here to my left or here to my right. And this is a staging technique that I've pointed out before. People really utilize mirrors to open up the space even more. And you have additional storage underneath your staircase right here to my left, your elevator to my right, and here is your garage. In your three car garage, you have epoxy flooring and two Tesla Powerwall batteries. And we'll step out of your garage and head into your elevator to go to the final floor of this home tour. And we are coming out of the elevator into the top floor in your primary bedroom. And this is similar to the guest quarters downstairs. You also have your private lounge area. This is a nice large space. You have a view of the ocean to my right and your side yard over here. You also have your travertine fireplace. And as you can see, this is the entire wall. It's seamless, it's great. This is a 14 foot vaulted ceiling, also wired for sound. Mount your TV here, maybe some artwork and you have your linear heating and air conditioning vent right here. See through gas fireplace with brick interior. And here you are in the main sleeping area of your bedroom. And here is your travertine fireplace that also takes up the entire space of this wall. And here you have one of your walk-in closets with custom cabinetry. And I thought it was interesting how they decided to separate the uh, walk-in closets. They didn't make it an entire full walk-in closet, but if you're somebody who likes privacy, maybe that's something for you. You have two large mirrors to open up this already large space. And if I were to choose a walk-in closet, I would choose this one because I do like the lighting a little bit more. We have the same European oak floors and we have Windsor wood above our bed sleeping area with warm recessed light. And over here, you have your private balcony with an ocean view. You have the same limestone floor tile and black wrought iron railing that matches your contemporary sconces. You have the same wood ceiling design and this private balcony has one of the best views of the ocean in this house and it is facing west so you would be able to enjoy the sunset. Now let's finish this primary suite with the bathroom. And we're going to close your sliding glass doors and head to your bathroom. In this bathroom door, you have a sliding barn door with frosted glass for privacy. And here is the reveal. And here we are in the primary bathroom. You have porcelain tile on the ground, his and her vanities. You have quartz countertops. You have the same custom rift oak cabinetry with the gold handles, polished nickel faucets, the wood trim, and respect to whoever cut this piece of glass to cut it, make it work with the same chic sconce. You have your glass shower with a hexagon tile design on the floor, bench seating, and it looks like you have a wall design of tile, which might be porcelain, but it looks like marble. You have the same polished nickel regular and handheld shower head, and this entire wall, the marble looking tile design floods over to this entire space. And below the view of your neighborhood and the ocean, you have your freestanding tub. You have your floor mounted faucet. And I wanna point out that in this house, the uh, designer, they did a lot of things kind of separated, like uh, separate walk-in closets, separate vanities, and even separate to toilets. <laughs> and there are two different toilets right here. And on this vanity, you have a little bit more space for maybe linens. You have soft closed cabinets and drawers. Same quartz countertop, faucet, sconce and you have this wallpaper design in this bathroom so it doesn't look like a just, just a plain bathroom. So let's head downstairs and finish our tour outside. And before
before we head downstairs, there's one more spot I wanted to show you. And on the way there, I wanted to point out, I love this deep wall detail they added here. Instead of having a plain white wall, they decided to cut it out, add some lights. You have your glass railing that really opens up the space. And to my right, you have three windows that gives you a view to your outdoor courtyard fireplace and your side yard. And we'll come up these stairs to the highest point in the house. I like to call it the crow's nest. You have windows on three of the four sides of the room. Ocean view here, ocean view here. And this could be your office or your kids play area. I also really like the staging in this room. I like this little hard days. This guy's not having a good day. Um, and I like this fake tree right here, but this is a nice area to have plants as well because there's ample amount of sunlight in this room. So finally, let's head downstairs into the backyard. And here we are in the remainder part of our tour. We're on limestone tile and we have a wood trellis design above. Douglas fir wood and Douglas fir wood is known for its distinct grain patterns. Right here you can see this would be your outdoor dining area and this is large enough for maybe two tables or an even larger table. To my right is west and over here the sun will set so you can sit out here, enjoy some wine, just hang out, enjoy the sunset. We have some drought friendly landscaping with some mulch and some lighting, contemporary black sconces. And right here, we have your hangout fire pit area. And you can just sit here, sit back, enjoy the view of the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. Or if it's nighttime, this space right here along the coast is called the Queen's Necklace because it's sort of shaped like a necklace and at night it glitters like diamonds. We will continue to your infinity pool sit here, lounge, and as I mentioned earlier, this is west, this is east, so you have ample amount of sunlight all throughout the day. And this is a Pebble Tech pool that you can be filtered for a saltwater pool or a regular chlorine pool. You have a Baja shelf where you can sit here and lounge, and I love the blue tile, it reminds me of the ocean. Perfect spot for being right next to the ocean. Here's another hangout area where you can maybe add some heat lamps or some more high tops. And here is your barbecue area. You have a stainless steel Lynx beverage fridge, a Sedona barbecue. And I wanna point out the strategic placement of this lemon tree here. If you're cooking fish or making margaritas, you can just pop on over and take a lemon off. And I do want to give you guys one last view of the ocean because this is a major selling point of this house. I also wanna point out that this entertainment and backyard area is elevated. So you are able to look down into your neighborhood, see the twinkling lights, and you also have that expansive view of the Pacific Ocean. So thank you guys again for watching. My name is Sierra Schatz, I'm with Lustrous Locations, and we appreciate any comment, like, subscribe, and I wanna thank you guys again for all the support. If it weren't for you guys, I wanna be making these videos. So stay tuned.